Welcome to Genius ERP Education Management System. Visit www.geniusegisoft.com and log in with your provided username and password. As you enter your username and password and click on the sign in button, you will come to this page. Today we will see the Canteen Management Module in detail. The Canteen Management Module typically includes features such as menu management, inventory management, order management, billing, and payment processing. And reporting. These features allow canteen administrators to easily manage the canteen's operations, such as menu planning, food preparation, and stock management. Here, you get a list of weekly meals set for the school canteen. To add a new weekly meal, click on Add Weekly Meal button. Here, under the label section, enter the label name. For example, write breakfast here. Enter the meal name here. For example, write bread butter. To add another label name click on the plus symbol. Again, enter the label name. For example, write lunch here. Enter the meal name here. For example, write pulao here. Similarly, make entries for the remaining days of the week accordingly. Now click on the submit button and the weekly meal list will be added. Under the POS master section, you can manage shops registers, product categories, taxes, cashiers, or managers. Under the shop section, you can maintain a list of all the shops available in the canteen of the school. To add a new shop, click on the Add Shop button. Enter the shop name here. For example, write KFC here. Enter the shop owner's name here. For example, write Menal Patel. Enter the email ID of the owner here. For example, write menal at the rate gmail.com. Enter the shop owner's mobile number here. Write the owner's mobile number here for contact. Enter the shop owner's address here. For example, write Ahmedabad. Upload the shop logo if required here. Now click on the submit button and the shop will be added. Under the register section, you get a list of registers handling the shops. To add a new register, click on Add Register button. Select the shop for which you need to add a register. Enter the register's name here. For example, write Yashsha here. Enter the receipt number prefix here. For example, write YS here. Select status, whether the register is active or inactive. Now click on the Submit button and the register will be added. Under the Product Category section, you get a list of all the product categories with their codes. To add a new one, click on Add Product Category button. Here, select the shop. Enter the product category name. For example, write Sandwich here. Enter the product category code. For example, write 6 here. Now click on the Submit button and the product category will be added. Under the Tax Group section, you get a list of all the taxes implied. To add a new tax, click on Add Tax button. Select the shop here. Select Order Wise. Enter the tax name here. For example, write Service Tax. Enter the tax percentage here. For example, write 5% here. Now click on the Submit button and the tax will be added. Here under the Products section, you get a list of all the products or we can say food items available in the shop. To add a new product, click on the Add Product button. Select the shop here. Select the product category here. Enter the product name here. For example, write Camon here. Enter the price here. For example, write 50 here. Upload the image if required. Now click on the Submit button and the product will be added. Here, under this section, you get a list of cashiers and managers here. To add a new register for a shop, click on Assign Shop button. Select the user from the options. Select the shop for which you need to assign a cashier. Now click on the Submit button and the cashier will be assigned to that particular shop. Under the Sell or Order section, the cashier can generate invoices for the orders of various shops. To change the shop, Click on the Change Shop button. Select the register here. 
Now select the items of the order. The chargeable amount will be displayed here. Click on this button. Select the payment type here. For example, select cash here. Here, enter the total amount of the bill. Select the taxes you want to imply. Enter the customer's mobile number here. Enter customer name here. Click on the total button and the invoice will be generated. You can save a copy of the receipt and also take a print. Under the sell or order reports section, you can date wise customer reports where you get a list of customers with their payment details. Order report where you get a list of orders with all the necessary details. Total daily report where you get a date wise list of the total amount paid by the customers by cash, card or POS. For further details subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.